Hi guys, how are you doing? It's me Sam. Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at the Helix and we're going to build a new patch. So please leave me some comments and click the like button and subscribe for more videos and let's just get right into it. Here we go. Okay, so I've got a new preset lined up here and what you're hearing currently is the DI signal with no amps, no nothing. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do, click mode, and I'm going to move this across. This is my signal chain, and we're going to go for an amp and a cab. Uh, let's check some of these out. I like that. You know, there's a bit of an option paralysis thing with this. There's so many great sounding amps. Looking for something sort of clean and fendery. The Tweed Blues is, is like a basement, which is maybe a little bit a little bit grindy for what I'm looking for today. Let's see. The Deluxe is always a good choice. I tend to use quite a lot and the double which is which is like a fender twin I think that's what I'm gonna go for today and I'm gonna set it pretty flat so let's just go for everything sort of around halfway uh, let's have a little more presence as well just to get that top end going let's see might be able to get away with a little more drive. Yeah, that's got some good character. I like that, so I'm happy with that. Let's keep that. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over here to this block here and I'm gonna make the signal chain continue. And I'm gonna come over here and let's check out some reverbs for the end of the signal chain. Some of these are just so spacey. I tend to go for this first one. I'm going to set it a little more subtle than what it's currently at. Yeah, I think that'll do for now. And I'm going to set that to this block over here. So now I've got my reverb right there. And if we go home, the next thing I'm going to do is add a little delay. So let's see what we've got here. Simple, simple delay. Let's go for something which is way less in your face by turning the mix down. Maybe a little more than that. Split the difference. It's a lot of tweaking. Okay, and I'm going to assign that to this foot switch here. Easy as that. 
and let's just go home again and the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to go before the amplifier and let's have some distortion oh my kids are banging around upstairs uh, here we go let's see what we got this is uh, a clon This is like the original Marshall in a box, the OCD. I tend to use that one a lot. Uh, the Tube Screamer. Driver's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. This is like a, a rat. I'm just going to go for the OCD. And actually, even without any tweaking, that sounded pretty good to me. So let's just keep that and we'll assign that. Let's go over here for this one. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the drive there. I'm going to go to the very beginning of the signal chain. I'm, I'm going to put a compressor in here so we can do some clean stuff. So dynamic, mono, uh, the red squeeze is like an MXR Dynacomp. I tend to use that a lot. It just works really well with that twin model I find. Uh, but for the sake of trying something different, let's go to this. Uh that as is and I'm just going to put that over here there we go and let's go home and what else can we do with this let's maybe check out some choruses so I'm going to go after the amp the amps here signal chain continues and let's check it out modulation effects let's see what we got oh I do like vibes Maybe we'll do a vibe instead. And the vibe is really good on this if I put the distortion on as well. slow that down if we want have that. Uh, I'm going to stick that over here and let's go home and I got a bit sidetracked there. Let's turn that off and that off and let's go for a chorus. 
Let's see, mono. What do we got? Chorus. <laughs> This seventies chorus. modulation effects in here. I never get ring modulators. Terrible. But authentically terrible. Uh, got all sorts of flanges. Sounds great. That's kind of cool, but uh, I'm getting sidetracked again. Let's just go for the chorus and... Sick territory. <laughs> Let's go less deep. And you can change it to be wetter or drier. will say about the helix is it's very easy to talk yourself out of a good tone so uh, I think I think when in doubt the golden rule is to leave it where it was to begin with <laughs> So let's stick that over here. There we are. And yeah, we're getting some good tones here already. Let's go home and let's think about what we might want to add in here. Oops. Let's see. So something that we can do is maybe put another distortion pedal in front of the OCD. Maybe if we go for like a tube screamer. And let's just edit this sort of the way that I would use a tube screamer. Uh, let's roll it all the way off and stick it over here. And if I turn this off, turn the OCD on, what I can do with this now is I can hit the front end of that pedal harder to give me more sustain. <laughs>
thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to come after the amplifier and I'm going to go for a clean boost, just for, you know, give me a few extra dBs for solos. So I'm going to go simple EQ, I'm going to give it maybe just 4 dBs, should be okay. And let's put that over here. And that's going to take me from being around this kind of volume to be in here. So that's not really affecting my tone, it's just giving me more volume uh, for when it's time to take a solo. Alright, moving on, let's go to the very beginning of the signal chain and let's put in a modulation effect. Let's go for the phase 90, we can get those kind of Van Halen-y things here. Okay, and we'll just set that to be over here. All right, so we've got one block left, and what I'm gonna do for that last block is I'm gonna go for an envelope filter. So if I go, oh, I think I went past it. Filter, there we go. And you get that kind of auto wah thing. Okay, so we'll stick that over here, and then we'll go home, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We've sort of got all the sounds that I would tend to need for most most things. <laughs> So let's just go through some of these. Let's turn everything off. So this is simply just the amp, completely dry. And we can put a nice bit of reverb in here. We can put a delay on that. Chorus. And I can turn that chorus off. We can go for just a straight up rock sound. that a bit harder with the Tube Screamer. We can boost all the volume. EVH uh, phase 90 thing. We can use our lead tone with some chorus if we like. Uh, 
Kolib. Got an envelope filter. And we've got our compressor that I almost forgot about. sort of covering all the bases for what I might need for some sort of a gig. So I hope you enjoyed it guys, please leave me a comment, click the like button and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you soon. Cheers guys, bye.